Hey, what's up everybody, Fanboy here. And it's late August 2020, so HomeKit has been out for almost six years now. Uh, Apple originally announced HomeKit back in September 2014. And almost six years later, we have hundreds of different HomeKit devices to choose from. There are dozens of models of light switches and dimmers, uh, wall outlets and alarm systems and cameras and sensors and door locks, garage openers, and all kinds of HomeKit devices available. But there is one category of HomeKit products that has been very elusive and, and it's baffled HomeKit uh, users all over the world why it's been taking so long for companies to make a HomeKit compatible video doorbell. In August 2020, there are literally only two models available that you can get. One of them costs $600, which is the Robin Pro line from a company from the Netherlands called Robin Telecom. And the only other option that's out right now is the Yobi Video Doorbell B3, made by iBaby Labs, a company I think their headquarters are in uh, Silicon Valley. But this product was originally a crowdfunding campaign and they started shipping them about two months ago. And I got mine two months ago and installed it and I've been using it for the last two months. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the process of unboxing it, installing it and using it so that you can make a decision for yourself if the Yobi Video Doorbell B3 is worth the $200 price tag. Uh, spoiler alert, very bare bones. And I think you should probably wait for another brand with more features before you get a HomeKit doorbell. But let's take a look at it together so that you can make a decision for yourself. Let's get going. All right, quick look at the box on the front, just some basic information, smart PIR motion sensors, full HD 1080p, facial backlight com uh, compensation, two-way audio talk and night vision. On the side, some tips on installing your, your Yobi B3, some more information on the back, top security software, special security design, and full HD 1080p video, and then just what's included in the box. So let's take a look at it. The OBB3 is made of plastic with a matte metallic gold outer shell and button and a black core that is glossy around where the lens is and matte black everywhere else. So these are uh, mounts that you can use to mount the doorbell either uh, facing down, like pointing down a little bit at an angle or a side angle so that you can angle it towards the person who is using the doorbell. Okay, doorbell and mounting options there. Then underneath, just manual, installation instructions, a reset pin, power kit installation instructions, some basic stuff, and tools, installation tools. A drill bit. This is Mounting screws, okay, and wires, and power kit. So this doorbell is connected to your Wi-Fi and you need a wired doorbell. It replaces a, an existing wired doorbell. So you need a transformer already connected to a doorbell. This power kit is something you installed uh, where your chime is, where your doorbell, current doorbell chime is, so that it can power the Yobi B3 and it can work using the exact same wiring that you already have in place for your existing doorbell. So that's pretty much it. That's what comes in the box. Now let's take a quick look at installation. The first thing you need to do before you mess with anything electrical is to turn off the breaker corresponding to your current transformer for your existing wired doorbell. The next thing you need to do is to decide if you want to mount your doorbell flat or using one of the angled mounts. I used the side angle mount to make sure that the doorbell was pointing at the person pushing the button on the doorbell. Next, you connect the two existing wires from the previous doorbell to the back of the Yobi Video doorbell. Next, you can mount the doorbell to the frame and secure it in place with a security screw. Now that the doorbell itself is installed, it's time to install the Yobi Power Kit at your existing doorbell chime. The power kit comes with high quality wire connectors and it's easy to install it to your existing doorbell chime. On the back of the power kit, there is a sticky back tape so you can mount it to the side of your existing doorbell chime. Now that all the wiring is done, it's time to turn the breaker back on and add the doorbell to HomeKit using the Home app and the provided HomeKit code. And that's it, the doorbell is installed, then you can now use it. 
All right, so what's my verdict after using the Yobi Video Doorbell B3 for almost two months now? Well, it's a HomeKit doorbell that's available right now and doesn't cost 600 bucks. I guess that's the best feature of this product is the fact that it's available and it's 200 bucks and you can finally uh, have a HomeKit doorbell, a native HomeKit doorbell that isn't working through HomeBridge. Uh, other than that, video quality, I'd say is just so-so. It's 1080p, but the colors are really bright and blown out, at least for my taste. Sound is okay. And it does work when someone pushes the doorbell button, you're gonna get that notification on your phone and you're gonna be able to communicate two-way with uh, the person pushing the button. But it does not have onboard storage. It does not have a micro SD card slot, so you cannot record any footage on the camera itself. And because it doesn't support HomeKit secure video, you can't record footage at all. So it's as bare bones as a HomeKit camera could get, a uh, HomeKit doorbell could get right now. But it is available, so and it doesn't cost 600 bucks. So. You know, if you really want a HomeKit doorbell, I'd say that that's the only uh, feasible option right now. But if you ask me, should you get it right now? Should you get the UOB Video Doorbell B3? I'd say no. I'd, I'd probably not recommend that you buy it right now, considering that I, I think we're just around the corner from getting a couple of more options available. The Netatmo doorbell, which has been announced almost two years ago, uh, it sounds like it's finally gonna come out in the next few months. Uh, and I know it cleared the FCC a while ago and it kind of appeared on a few different shopping sites by accident a few times. And I know that they've been running a beta with a, a limited beta with a group of people. So it sounds like that's gonna come out soon and it does have a micro SD card slot and uh, also supports HomeKit secure video. I know that uh, Elfi announced that their, the battery version of their 2K doorbell camera is gonna support HomeKit, but that model actually needs the home base, the Elfi home base. And I'm not a fan of a bridge when it comes to video devices, like cameras and, and doorbells and stuff like that. So but there's been rumors also that Elfi is gonna update their wired version of the 2K doorbell to HomeKit 2. If they do that, I'm definitely getting that model because I've had great experiences with Elfi cameras in the past. So anyway, my recommendation is do not get the Yobi Video Doorbell B3 right now wait a couple months because I think there will be better options available pretty soon. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully this review of the Yobi B3 video doorbell has been useful and helpful for you. If you liked it, please remember to hit like below and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new videos with unboxings, reviews, cool Fanboy original products that you can download and 3D print at home yourself and much, much more. All right, catch you on the next one. Fanboy out.